Welcome to Shakespeare the Sonnets. Today we're doing sonnet number 122. Let's get to start with. So I give thy table are within my brain, full charactered with lasting memory. Which shall above that idle rank remain, beyond all date, even to eternity. Or at least so long as brain and heart have faculty by nature to subsist, till each to raised oblivion yield his part, of these that record never can be missed. That poor retention could not so much hold, nor need I tally thy dear love to score. Therefore to give them from me was I bold, to trust those tables that receive thee more, to keep an adjunct to remember thee, were to import forgetfulness in me. Alright, firstly, this sonnet itself is, I will have to say, an interesting sonnet. It's not, it's not, it's not something, a continuation or something. In fact, according to Spark Notes, it's, the sonnet can be read two ways, either as if the speak, speaker was actually given a literal notebook in which the addressee was already written, where he goes ahead and he reads this notebook, or he was given a completely blank book and he goes ahead and starts filling it up himself. So that's a few. That's a few ways to actually go ahead and read the sonnet. Those are a few li of the lines that can be done. If you didn't understand, here's a dumb person's version of this. Basically, this sonnet is someone reading from a notebook with the sonnet already written, or someone with the, the blank notebook and is writing the sonnet as we read it. It's like a uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but uh, without without the Harry. Potter and the Chamber Secrets and Hogwarts and all those kinds of things. <clears throat> so, in my mind, I've got a blank book you gave me with all these words, which will remain in my memory for the rest of eternity. I will go ahead and use this book so many times to go ahead and record everything in our literal daily lives. Go ahead, write a bunch of other things, and lots and lots and lots and lots of things, so that I will never go ahead and forget one moment of our lives. It will be like a snapshot of our lives together, except instead of actual, instead of an actual snapshot, it will actually be made with words, which is, which is pretty lame if you ask me. Like a snapshot with words, it, it actually does have skill, skill to make some of those, but uh. It doesn't look good. And then, of course, I can't go. I can, I'm also kind of forced to give up part of me towards you. Like, I'm forced to give up its part and pass its oblivion. I have to. I'm forced to go ahead and give out my brain and my heart's longings. Go ahead. And just to be with you as well, too. I actually long to be with you, too. But my job requires me not to long. Not to be longing with you. And so I'm guessing that we're going to be here for the long run. And for me, I will go ahead and keep using that book you gave me to keep on remembering you, to aid me, to remember what I would imply would be forgetful. And that's sonnet number 122. If you look a bit closely, here's where you get the things. Thy gifts, thy tables are within my memory. Like, the tables here, my memorandum, my books, my thy tables. Thy gift, thy books, basically. It's thy books. Character, full character, or full written with lasting memory. This book is written with full of lasting memory. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep that memory for as long as I can. Which shall above that idle rank. Which shall above that idle rank. That literal useless series of leaves that remain. We shall go ahead, and this will give me some of the idle ranks that remains, those leaves that remains. And now I'm going to be raised by oblivion, till it's to raised oblivion. That's like oblivion, which actually goes ahead and raises. Oblivion, which raises, yield his part. Till it's oblivion, which raises, I go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and miss my part. And then, of course, that poor retention, uh, that's the memorandum books, apparently, I'm just going to replace this with books, but more specifically, it's going to be notebooks, because that makes more sense. You're going to write something in the notebook, and that notebook has sonnet number 122 in it. I really hope the sonnet is true, because then if we somehow find Shakespeare's old notebook with sonnet number 122 written in it, I think we will actually have a great discovery of a time. <laughs> And then the tallies, it's like the calculator, the calculator, it's basically a calculator, um, an accounting device, which is 
practically a calculator. So no need for the calculator. The idea love to scores. There's no need to go ahead and have any of that as well too. And those tables and to trust the mind that receives you more. And if I were to import or if I were to imply forgetfulness in me, I will go ahead and look inside that literal notebook. And inside there, I will make sure that we remember everything that we had together and everything we experienced together in our lives. And that's practically it. That's not a number 122. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you guys soon. And so until next time, shout out, peace. Bye bye. Side so gifts, side like tables are within my brain, full character, and with lasting memory. Which shall above that idle rank remain, beyond all date, even to eternity. Or at the least, so long as brain and heart have faculty by nature to subsist, till each to raise oblivion and ill this part of these that record never can be missed. That poor retention could not so much hold, nor need I tallies as I dear love to score. Therefore, to give them from me was I bold, to trust those tables that receive thee more, to keep an adjunct to remember thee, were to import forgetfulness in me.